Now at 11, tens of thousands of Americans who have never owned guns before are now considering buying one or adding to what they already have. And many of those new owners are in South Florida, prompted by the recent increase in crime and violence. Here's CBS 4's Keith Jones. As we come out of the pandemic, we're learning a lot of people spent a lot of time and money on home improvements, exercise and fitness, and now we're learning a lot of people spent a lot of money on guns, and a lot of those purchasers are first-time gun buyers. Walk into any gun store and owners are singing the same tune. Gun sales are up. Some shops have seen 2 to 3% increases since the pandemic. Others, as much as 10%. Yeah, I've seen a big uptick in AR-15s. Anybody who doesn't have one wants to get one now. And people that already have them, one or two for Target, are buying three and four more for just to have them. Roy Gosley owns the Billboy Tackle and Gun Shop in Fort Lauderdale. His sales have been nonstop, and he's experiencing the gun barrel peril of supply and demand. So it's really hard to sell things when you don't have them and when you can't get them and then when you do get them they tend to leave the shop faster than you can possibly you know replace it his cases of ammunition are once again stocked six months ago bullets rounds ammo whatever you want to call it were really difficult to come by and now a new phenomena most gun purchasers are loaded rod rookies what we're seeing is about 50 percent of all gun sales these days are first-time gun owners we saw at least from documented registered cases over 20 million guns more sold last year than the year before. Dr. Alex Picero, the criminologist chair at UM's Department of Sociology and Criminology, studies these numbers. According to the FBI, background checks for firearms went up 31% in the first four months of this year. Stats from the Florida Department of Agriculture show initial or new applications for concealed weapons in Miami Dade almost tripled from July of last year to more than 17,000 and an additional 300 in Broward County. A lot of people were scared. So you had an increase in first time buyers um, who were just panicking. A pandemic sprinkled with riots and demonstrations that went sideways made for a recipe of people wanting protection. And now, add the fact beefs are no longer settled with pushing and shoving, a fist fight at worst. Now kids are just, they're just solving the problems right here, right now. Keith, because they're, they're not thinking about tomorrow. It's the minute few who intend to use a weapon in public or cause carnage like at the Hookah Lounge in Kendall or the El Mula Banquet Hall. Most first-time gun owners are about one thing. If something does happen, they're prepared. Gosley says not only are gun sales up, but his firearms training course, seeing a lot more people in it. He was seeing three to four per class, but during the pandemic, that shut up to about 25 per class. And as we come out of the pandemic, it's starting to trickle off once again. In Fort Lauderdale, Keith Jones, CBS 4 News tonight.